All right, shalom out y'all. Hey, we back here again. This is GMS Houston. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Wadash. That's right. The Lord is to the apostle of the great millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akinam out there doing the work of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, in true faith and in sincerity. So, here it is. We're coming to <clears throat> the end of a new year, or another, the end of another year, the end of uh, another decade, we're going into 2020, and this is our New Year's Eve of Destruction class, which uh, we will be putting up in curses, checking down Babylon, all at the same time, you know, like we do every year. So, uh, yeah, this 2019 has been a rocky year. It's been, it's been eventful. It's, it's been, man, it's been, a, it's been a hell of a year. And so that's setting the stage for 2020. We already know what, what kind of know what to expect coming into 2020. 2020 is going to be a super duper heavy year. Uh, this is the end of the year of the Karagna today. This is the last, the last day of the year of Karagna. So, you know, we're going to be staying focused to see what the apostles uh, or the chief apostles do in 2020. So we know it's, it's, it's going to be hit. So, uh, yeah, we've seen, we've seen many things go down. You know, Jake's still getting shot in the street. Economy's still in turmoil. World War Three mounting up. You know, even more. Things are escalating in, in the Middle East that, that Valley Jehoshaphat that the Most High prophesied about. So, you know, we we have, we are we looking for these prophecies to be fulfilled and, and for the Lord to come back and take us out of hell. Right. So, you know, if we we in hell, we in hell. Right. You know, people think you got to die to go to hell and you've been you've been wicked. No, you in hell right now. I don't right. care what you you know or how you feel about you yourself and you can't be a good person or you can hell. You know, even the Edomites. Right. The Edomites are testing their own people, got their own people in hell. You know? Uh, hey, I ain't gonna go off on a rant, but this is this is like I can say, you know, this is this this this, this Edomite is real quick. You know, at, at my job, you know, and what's so sad about it, this cat was in the military and he he can't get shit right. You know, we build trucks and you show him and then he go back and try to do it and he can't, he can't, he, he, he just don't get it, you know. And I try to cut him some slack, maybe, you know, he, he got hit upside the head. I don't know, he sell shopping or something. I don't know, but I'm just thinking, this is my, my, my mindset. This is what the military produced. <coughs> America is in big trouble. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But we, we already know America is going down, but this, this is what's coming out of the military. <coughs> and, and you listen to this guy talk, and, and you know, it's like Esau, they, they talk a good guy. But here in this truth, it ain't about talking and talk, it's about walking and walking. So, you know, hey, we just gonna go in it and, you know, I say it's an open forum, man. We pray that you brothers are edified. We didn't have uh, no particular topic at hand. So we just gonna we just gonna uh roll in the spirit. So we have to pray that you got it. chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hey, real quick, we're going to need that armor, man. We, we need it right now. Not going to need it. We need it right now. We needed it yesterday. We needed it last year. We needed it last month. Last decade. If you don't got that armor, you out here, you know, as they say, trying to fake it till you make it, you ain't gonna make it. 
Because you this is one thing that you can't fake. See, Babylon teaches just like Esau is so I'm yes. glad you brought it out. Brother Esau, he, he gets through life just talking. Yeah. And nobody holds him to, to no standard or, or to his word. And he can just say shit and just like the, the, the same cat. He he told the motherfucker he could wear. And came well with his lip. I can wear better than him with my eyes closed. Right. Well, he was properly attacked, but that's what they used to. And he thought right. he thought he was just gonna breeze through that. Right. And, and, and it's a, it's a cause on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cause, man. And I, I, I hate working with him, you know. Well, but but this is cause, cause this is cause get mad at him, then he'll shut down. And this, this one cat, and he'll shut down, but. My point is that, you know, mm -hmm. being in this truth, you're going to have to be about it. Like, like, Master P said, be about it, about it. This is what you're going to have to be. You don't have to be about it. You can't just fake your way through this. You don't have to put that on on. You're going to have to wear it, and you're going to have to fight. This is a fight. We're in the battle. Yeah. That's why I say put on your armor, because we're in the battle. Right. You can't get you can't bring the ways of Babylon into this truth. So you got a lot of people bullshitting in Babylon. A lot of people faking the phone in Babylon. But that can't be so in this work, in this ministry. You got to go. I got a quick, quick piece up. Uh, to the point you made about you got to, in other words, you got to walk. We got to, uh, we have to walk when we talk, you know, and not just be out on the highway and byway and putting up these lessons and not living what we're talking about it on the highways and byways and what we're saying in the different lessons that we do. This is uh, James chapter chapter 1, verse 22. It says, but, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, mm -hmm. deceiving your own self. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask, uh, straight to the point. I'm going to bring that out real quick. I got a quick one. Somebody had something? Oh, this is uh, Romans 13 and 11. It says is that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, and not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother. Read that first verse you brought up. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're Romans 13 and 11. Mm -hmm. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wait without sleep. But now is our salvation here than when we believe. Yeah, so hey, you know, how much more now? Right. That the year of the corruption had passed, and so we, we seen them throughout this year, 2019, the year of the corruption, getting things set up, you know? Mm -hmm. we, we see, you can't deny the chip. You can't say it don't exist, right. because they're showing you people are getting it. People on their workplace, people partying to go to the club, they're getting chilled. Mm -hmm. So you can't say we're making it up or it don't exist. It exists. And, and on top of that, you know, uh, we see them putting measures in place that <coughs> supports the, the, the market to be such as right. they're setting up this 5G network. Mm -hmm. that, that goes AI, D-Wave computing on the... Uh, this this D wave computing works on the uh, uh, what's the word? It'll, it'll come to me in a second. But uh, quantum, this this quantum computer. Mm -hmm. So you know, the regular computer, just like the brother got, it right. works on binary ones and zeros. And you see the one or zero when you go into quantum computing, it can be one and zero at right. the same time. So. It, in other words, it actually can compute in real time and in real space. It's like matrix. Exactly. 
and like they showed in the Matrix, like they showed in uh, uh, Minority Report. That's what's coming. The brother said AI. That's what's going to give life to the, to the AI. Mm -hmm. And it's scary, man, when you see what, where this thing is going. You, man, yeah. Satan wants to take over. Right. But anyway, just going back to, to um, you know, they're setting this, this, this network of this system in place. So, right. 2019, the year of Karagma, we, we seen things being established. Now, look for this year, and I'm not saying what is or what ain't going to happen, or what is and what isn't, but look for this year for them to make it mandatory because I'm saying that based on, I'd be like Gerald Salente, the trends. Right. Everybody talking about a reset as far as the financial. You know, a reset, oh, it's going to be gold, it's going to be, uh, Cryptocurrency. Right, right. No, it's going to be the mark of the beast. It's right. going to be the RFID microchip. Right. right. You know, and they might tell you it's based on gold, but right. you actually going to be trading through these D wave computers, through AI. Right. And they know, and they know it, but they can't come they out. They can't say it. Yeah. Right. Huh, this that beautiful, bro. Uh, yeah. But like you were saying, all the signs point to the chip. What else could they point to? Right. You know, it can't be nothing else. He's trying to let people trade with gold. Right. It's yeah. never the case. We've yeah. been yeah. We yeah. have yeah. gold. Right. 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 Ain't right. nobody got no gold. Right. 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 Exactly. Right. So you think they finna start issuing out their gold that right. they've stolen? Mm -hmm. Real quick, brother. Uh, Mark, can you finish that last Oh, yeah. Go back into that. Right. Go back into that. What is our order, baby? How about she has Yeah. But this is uh, Romans 13 and 11, and, and they know in the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, but now is our salvation here than we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the arm of light. about your, the best movie you can like two of my top favorite movies dealing with war and, and, uh, is uh, 300 in Detroit. But Achilles uh, with Leonidas, if they go in the battle as cold as they was, if they go in the battle naked with no type of armor on, they do, they need the protection. So no matter how good you may be able to wield the sword, how good, uh, good you may be in, 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 in battle tactics, you know at the end of the day, I need protection, man, and that's what we doing, that's what we've been doing, putting on Yahweh Shai, man. All right, arming ourselves with this knowledge to prepare us for the times of come. Come, man. And the night being far spent is this kingdom. It's talking about these right. all the rulership. Right. Right. Because it's during the time of Paul, the Edomites were in rulership. Right. And whenever they're in rulership, gross darkness is going to cover the people. You yep. know, and this is exactly where we are right now. We're in gross darkness. Well, we are not right this world. This world is in gross darkness, you know. So, yeah, but And the scripture say in, uh, in Matthew 25 that at night, there was, at midnight, there was a cry when I going in to us uh, prophesying right. this word, you know. So it, the night represented we saw the end of Esau rulership and the end of our uh, captivity. Uh, Ephesians 6 and 11 again. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah. And that's what we're preparing for, man. All right. Well, I'll read 12 again. And real quick, the wiles, you know, the wiles is, is trickery. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, like this brother yeah. brought out this word one day at camp, uh, chicanery. That's wild. <clears throat> when you go into chicanery, you're talking about trickery, deception, you know, to, just to be in the game. That's, this is what he does. This is what he excels in because this is what he was set up to do, right? So, yeah, brother. Uh, verse 12. It's and you're going to real quick, so like, you, know, you have to read down because you're going to identify the, the, the order, you know. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And you know that's what we deal with. It. And it's evident, man, right? because you see it. Who's being targeted, man? Who who the elite see as the threat? The middle of the Lord, man. You know, that's been all going to spiritual battle, man. And not arming up with vests, bulletproof vests, not stocking up with guns, just going out and teaching the word, and that's what's threatening Esau's kingdom, man. So you see him making the necessary moves to go to war with the ones who's being spiritual, man. <laughs> Can you read that? Uh, a lot. How do you have a free for real? You said it ain't uh, carnal, bulletproof vests. And what, what's being built up the house of David? Well, when King David was about to go to war, he had the kings on it. King Saul, he put it on and took it off, but that's not the true one. King David, the Spirit of the Lord, he had the true one. He the most high. So he didn't need the carnal armor. Same right. thing for us. We don't need to put on a, a, a foggy bulletproof vest with yeah. prayers on it. You know, we got the truth. This is what the Lord wants to read. What's the truth? How about you? King David had the rock. We got the rock. Y'all shot. You know what I mean? So, putting that word on the Lord said, if you trust in him, he'll be a buffer for you. Right. Okay. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Because the scriptures tell us right here in this very verse that it's not a it's not a court of war. Right. It's about to explain it what we're fighting against. And you can Bob I know y'all but you got a can you read that uh, verse again? Ephesians chapter six and verse twelve. This is this is what the, the fight is against. And as he missed off these things, it ain't nothing corner about what the brother about to read. Go ahead, bro. Ephesians six and twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, and if you go into that word principalities, it's chief demons. These are high level, high power demons that we're dealing with. So the battle is a, is a uh, spiritual battle. Okay, we fighting against left hand, the left hand side, okay, with the, with the, the power from the right hand side. Okay? And you go into that word principality, and then it say the uh, darkness, what is that the word? Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, all of witchcraft this bastard is casting out in the planet Earth. You know? But everybody else is, you know, because really that, uh, that even the mark of the beast is going to be uh, pushed through a method of uh, witchcraft. He's going he's gonna to push out witchcraft to to persuade the people, which it ain't gonna take much persuasion to right. take the uh, the market piece. Wow. You see? Mm -hmm. yeah, but you got it. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. And having the, on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith. Mm, above all. Because mm -hmm. without faith, you can forget it. Right. And that's what separates the call of the from the spiritual man. When the men that spiritual is operating on faith, the guys that's part of first of all, Man, Esau got, we're not going to get into the, the, the futuristic weapons. His blessing was a sword, sure, and you know the modern day sword. This is devil got robots that's armed and ready to go, man. What the fuck is a bulletproof vest going to do against a damn robot? <laughs> yeah, they got microwave weapons that they had in that operation. Yeah, if you watch Esau movies, he show you what he got to start really racing. He likes to bring it. When you see um has fallen, yeah. you know, boy, they they got drones that got a bomb. And they just had these drones that are flying over city right. and right. they can they can detonate them and they don't 
they would be probably within 30, 50 yards from you and kill you. Right, Kamikaze style. Right, but, they, but they're drones. Right. So, you know, what they show in these movies, what you have to understand that uh, Hollywood is, is grossly funded now by the military industrial complex is why you see all these. All these type of movies that, that uh, you know, they showcasing their, their weapon, you know, from all the Marvel movies to, to you know, uh, like Angel Has Fallen and you, you can name them. Right, the, the military is, is funding uh, Hollywood for the most part, you know. They got, a, Hollywood got a, a, a huge budget from the military industrial complex. So they, they, they show you what, what they have, and your gap ain't going to cut it. Right, right, right. You know? Yes. <laughs> your, your gap ain't going to cut it, man. They don't, you know, these devils in Hollywood just ain't that creative. Right. They ain't come up with all this right. shit. No, they, they get it from somewhere. Right. They get it from uh, uh, a, a factual source, mm -hmm. which is, uh, they showing things that they they have. So, yeah, brother, that, right. that was a beautiful point right there. Right. Right. Rocket launchers and grenades and a uh, hundred round drum. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's okay. Nah. Hey, yeah, you can look. They show you that, like, when they, when they do uh, those AI shows, like, they show you the new technology we got, that we got this robot and we built that robot. Man, they got shit out there, man, like, like animals look like dogs and shit run upstairs, open yeah. doors, and yep. and on with weaponry, man. I mean, it's like, yeah, he, he got shit, man. It's, it's like I said, you you get it. It hadn't so far. The man is able to think on his own and make conscious decisions. That's what artificial intelligence gives these uh, machines, man. And you saw, no, he's it, it just a mad scientist. He didn't grew up, Dexter's lab didn't grew up into a mad scientist. Right, you know? That's what you want, you're going to need to arm the right. That's it, you know? Because we're not going to be able to use any uh, might of our own aside from the you know, machine that we're showing. These things have to be practiced. These things have to be executed on a daily basis to where you don't, you don't fight, you know, without your spiritual arm. You know, I mean, King Bacon and so you know, he didn't the physical honor, but he also was equipped before that. Because he was fighting lions and bears, you know what I mean? So he was already going through adversity in himself. So likewise with us in his preparation, you know, the preparation is more just making sure that you're equipped. You know, a shield and a buckler. You know, these are the things which I was like, you know, which I have given us to actually withstand those. We're with I'll start from 16 again, like Ephesians uh, 6 and 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quit all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh. And it is the fiery darts, that, that's, that's what they get you. You know, and the fire and darts is just them, them, them thoughts that pop up in your head. You know, like they show you in the cartoons, you got the, 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 the red <laughs> band on your left shoulder, yeah, yeah. and then the angel on, on the right, but the, the one, the, you know, the devil telling you, hey, man, don't do that. You know, hey, that's how the demons work. Right, right. You know, you get them thoughts in your head. Demons have been principalities. All right there to, right. to put that in your, your head, man. All you gotta do is read the book of Daniel when uh when uh Daniel was praying and uh who was it? Uh was that Michael? But he said he said uh I, he basically said I would have been there sooner, but right, right. the Prince of Persia was it with that right. had withstood me. Right, yeah, right. You know, right. And, and what, what the angel was saying is that, you know, they were trying to persuade him to, to do a certain thing, but mm -hmm. his mind was so strong, he was so fixed on doing something else that, you know, 
but that's how it's showing you how the principalities work. They they put these these ideas in your head. These are those fiery darts, you know, these darts that tell you, oh man, you know, it's okay, you can deal with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a fiery dart. But you don't have to you don't have to have that hold on to exist. Right. You don't want to that hold on. You can't just have a shield by itself, you know, and, and and doing some flip flops and some, <laughs> some cargo shorts. Right. Your toes out. You got to have you got to have your boots. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have your you, you got to have the whole nine yards. Every time you score, the seal, breastplate, right? You know, all that to, to stand because as a brother bringing out, that's in, that's telling you or that represents this word. And if you lack it in any one point in this word, you dogs can get through that. That's right. right. And, and, you know, bring disaster. Right. And, and ruin the point. Right. So you, you have to be on point all the way around. Yeah, brother. Now, I'm going to say, too, them, them, uh, you know, the thoughts come in your mind, the wicked thoughts come into your mind, which is nothing but demons playing on the mind. And then you go out here and, it's easy for you to execute them, them thoughts because this whole kingdom is set up in, in wickedness, mm -hmm. you know? So the, the, the wicked thought can, oh, yeah. can uh, uh, produce the wicked action because everything is, 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 sync, is in sync with each other. Mm -hmm. The wicked thought that come in your mind is in sync with what's going on out here in, in this world. Right. Nothing but uh, wickedness. They show that in them cartoons what the brother is referring to, you got the, the little angel and then you got the, the, the devil on the other shoulder. Once you comply with that devil, they bind that good angel and put his halo over his arms and jump him to the side. Because now you done all right. Yeah, come on, little devil. You right. Right. You done made an agreement with Satan. Yeah, yeah it, it ain't going to be that bad. And, and ultimately, the Lord forgive me. Let's go do it. Now the, the good angel, he up there sitting with the halo, his, his arms and everything stuck in the halo. He can't, they done binding him, and now you done ran with the devil, man. So that that's perfect point. That's a good, uh, you know, yeah, a good analogy as to what the wilds are, man. But, you know, you know we've seen that movie, the Idle Wild. Yeah, the con, the con, the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that flash. Yeah, the time you try to come to a decision, you know, the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't far from your reach. I mean, because it can just go on in your mind, but to actually go in there and uh, do it, it ain't far. She right there. All you got to do is call. Mm -hmm. You know? You Forty-three. It says, "When the unclean spirit was gone out of the man, right. he walked through dry places, seeking rest, and finding none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he has come, he find it empty, swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in." Well, then, in the last state of that man is worse than the first, even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. And so, those scenarios that the brothers are going into is that decision that we saw so called white man is going to place before you in that hour of temptation, to where like, if you constantly make those decisions to sin, those decisions to where you error in accordance with having this light to protect you, this armor of the hour, like you shot, those demons are going to come in full blast. Right. You know what I'm saying? They gonna glitch you then. Because because you you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you will not, you you made allowance for that demon to actually come in to bind up that strong man and to actually bring in more wicked demons for yourself. So that's why that protection of this armor is necessary to where that decision is already made. Like, like when you anoint yourself and you protect you you put on quote unquote lotion or shape butter, whatever you do, like in every orf orifice you have. Because if you don't, it, it'll be ashy and it'll turn into like, you know, gangrene and infection or whatever the case may be. 
so it will be deteriorating. So likewise, with you not having that whole arm of Yahweh Shemar Shah and making that decision once on whether or not you want to serve Yahweh Shemar Shah, you want to serve Man, you want to serve you know, Esau, you want to serve the wicked deeds, um, that in itself prepares you and, and makes provisions against the laws of the devil here to come in and you know, bind you up. And it said seven. It says, Lord. Yeah. Uh, Matthew 12 and 45. Then for he and taken with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. So, you know, he bringing in like, you know, more powerful, we talked about principalities, right? Uh, uh, isn't it what you said? Chief demons? Right. Right? right. So, so those principalities are chief demons. You're not dealing with a, a low-level demon now, you know? So whatever you make provision for, it's going to be part of, I mean, it's kind of like a bad habit, as they say. You know what I mean? That bad habit, once you make that that wrong decision to go against your house by Shemir on Shadda, or what does the scripture say about rebellion? Which curse? Which curse? Why? Because you were putting things before your house by Shemir on Shadda instead of putting that armor before all the things that the devil may you know, portray or use. That's right. That's right. It says, then goeth he and take with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. So, like, you, you can't get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, hey, 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 hey Jake has dealt with that before. You know what I'm saying? Brother, hey, man. Oh, well, not brother, but, uh, you know, Jake in the world, come over, play, like, man. I mean, chill there a couple weeks, you know what I'm saying? Give people feedback under me. You know, a year later, he's still there. You can't get rid of them. Not that he did it, but, like, I'm just using that scenario. It says, <laughs> It says, and the last state of that man is worse than the first, even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. So that's what's coming to two thirds of our people. But they ain't going to have that armor. They ain't going to have that anointing. They ain't going to have that protection of the Yahweh Yahweh So, So be grateful. Be appreciative. You know, understand the mercy of Yahweh Yahweh is giving you by understanding what these words are to be actually uh, withstand in this day, this up upcoming trial of your faith. You know? You, you're not, you don't have a shield just to say, I have a shield of faith. You don't have a sword to say, I have a sword just to say, I have a sword. You're going to have to use these things in battle. Yeah. Hey, all right, Baba Gashai, could you go back and read uh, where you started from? What is the three points I would like to make? Absolutely. Uh, this is back in uh, Matthew 12. Matthew 12 and 45. Matthew 12 and 45. This is what it says. Now, nah, 43. It says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walking through dry places. Now, stop real quick. Mm -hmm. We all went through that uh, process because we was all in the world. All of us that now know that we Israelites and we uh, were given grace and uh, faith to get the understanding of these scriptures, we was all in the world and we were infested with uh, unclean spirits, mm -hmm. with demons. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh, when we were woken up to this truth, that's when uh, the unclean spirits left from out of our uh, abode, our our uh, our body, so to speak, our our mind. That's that's it. So yeah, all of us went through that, you know. Can you uh, go? Can uh, you about what's up? It says, "When the unclean spirit is gone out of us," uh, Matthew twelve and forty-three. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. Because you got Jakes out there, they never gonna encounter this process. Mm -hmm. They not gonna have it to where the unclean spirit leave out of their uh, mind, so to speak. That happened to us. Jake that's in the world, and that ain't adhering to the truth, they gonna continue on uh, uh, dwelling in the ways of that world, in a demonic uh, mind frame. Mm -hmm. Well, you got it right. It says, he walking through dry places, Seeking rest and finding none. So that demon wants to leave out of, it left out of all of us, you know, and that new demons, the different demons that came out of all of us, it goes throughout the uh, the world seeking another body to, to inhabit. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Or mind, or in other words, a mind to inhabit. Right, yeah, because this, this truth is it's starting to dwell in you, so it has, a, it has to escape. Exactly. Um, verse 44, it says, then he said, I will return into my house from which I came out, 
and when he has come, we find it empty. So he, the demon comes, let me go check out that vessel <laughs> or that body that I came out of, right. or that rid of mind that I came out of, right. and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Now what should happen and what's happening, what, what, what right. is happening is that we're being filled up, our mind is being filled up with uh, the scriptures, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. See, that's that going into that, uh, that army. You see? So the demon is going to come back and check. Let me go check back on that nigga. <laughs> you know? Not on the brother, right. but the nigga that we all was. Go ahead, son. Were you through? No, no. Go bring your preacher about me. Uh, this is uh, Philippians 2 and 5. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in the Mashiach that I was shot. So going back to the point there, when that unclean spirit is gone, it should come back and find you how it shot it. Exactly. Right. But it, right now it says, mm -hmm. we come back and find the clean sweat. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, it said, he find it empty, swept, and garnished. Nah, that mean that 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 we don't. That mean that body or that real mind, what it really is, mm -hmm. is not. Uh, is it does not feel with your how about showing you how it shot. Well, with, oh, like the scriptures say, the woman. Right. Okay. So now, that's when the demons can come back in. <clears throat> that one demon, it then brings seven more demons stronger. Right. Because you have you have no protection. You you have nothing to protect you from that demon from entering back in. You know? That that's what this word should be doing. It should be a, a, a defense towards wickedness. Right. You know? That that that's what this light does. That was it. Then uh, you can see that go a little more that was it. Whatever you have just more quickly done on that go six Ephesians uh four I'm sorry thirteen and these to be all coming in the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Masiach, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craft, craftiness, whereby they lock and wait to deceive them. Okay? So it's saying we come into the unity of, of, of faith, man. You know, so that's the common um, the, the denominator, man. okay? And the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man, okay? Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of the Mashiach, man, okay? Again, putting that on that, that arm, man. The knowledge of, 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 of truth and righteousness, man, okay? And it says, John like 14, that we won't be, that we will be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive, man. And that, what if we saw that, man? You see, we would never but cunning craftiness, man. If you think you've seen the grace of Esau, shit, you ain't seen shit, man. Like, man, uh, 2020, okay? Because they got that, uh, that, uh, how the scripture said, that, that advice that they want to, that they want to achieve, man. Okay, which is they the end of the world. Say again, bro? They want to uh, fulfill their enterprise. That's right, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which they, which they, you know, the most high got them in the trick bag, and they, 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 they feel like they want to really put it out. But us as men of the law, we don't really, we all depend for the law. We, we already, we already know. Okay. We got, we got, we got faith. Not only these people, we walk within it, and we put on our arm, and we know we, we, we more than that bullet food, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. When those dogs, when them dogs shoot it, bing, 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 right. and right. they fall and they fall into the ground. Man. Okay? That's that's the strength and the power of the Yahweh by Shem. The Yahweh Shem. Right, the word is the bulletproof thing. Come, 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 come. But it don't just protect your vitals up in here in your midsection or your, your chest and your midsection, but your whole, your head, because but you can't put a bulletproof vest on your on your, on your head, you know. Right. So the word protects spirit through the spirit protects your own protects us in the spirit, you know. Yeah, yeah, because the fight is spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Like, like ultimately, everything in brother one and two in Ephesians six chapter is is spiritual. Like we are fighting a spiritual warfare, so there's nothing carnal that we'll be able to utilize in order to have uh, the, the 
ability to conquer any uh, adversity. You know, Esau's gonna have to try to come in the flesh, but how we win is always through the spirit. You know, that's why at the end we we'll have a couple more verses. But it said, which is the word of your house. Mm -hmm. But then you know that's what farmer is. Right. Mm -hmm. Is is this so you could take a hit shot and you got the the word if you were on with, with the word, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Because 2020 is, is going to involve a lot of right things. I was looking for brother's hands, but uh, that, 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 yeah, so my, I was about to say, because uh, you brought that the scripture, I left his mind being you, as you brought some of my shiach. When the Satan came to Yahweh Yahweh Shah, he used the scriptures he had before on him. Right. The Satan said, right. shit, you won't break. And he was hungry, it's fast as point in the Indies. Mm -hmm. So he tempted him with something he wanted the most at the time. So Satan was like, she wants some bread. Yahweh Shah, he went back to the world, which goes to that last verse. The, right. the, the sword. That's the most important thing. And then when he said next, but shit, uh, the ruler, that got to be all these kings, well, that's what that faith kicked in. Yahweh Shah had faith to wait on his king. He rules from people. So he said, move around and say no, because why? He had the whole world on so you know, so you know. That's the example we find. It's a problem. Hey, the scripture said, what's the word? What's the devil? You should flee. Right. 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 Real quick, you see, uh, Second Corinthians 10 4, is what the weapons of all the are not for The mighty food, the power to the foot is down a stronghold. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes, yeah, you speak on that, brother? All right. Yes, That's uh, you know what I'm saying? The weapons that we believe, man, is, is this word. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to be on a corner level. You know what I'm saying? Get on Esau's level, get, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying, AKs and you know what I'm saying? Things like that. This is all, uh, you know what I'm saying? What the word is. That's something else we saw this year. Is, you know, Jake is supposed to be in this truth. Right. Lowering themselves to Esau's level. Right. You know, mm -hmm. getting on that low vibration of, yeah. uh, you know, holes with guns or just expose their hands. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We, we, that's not that's not our strength. Right. Our strength is this word. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, you got to take not walk in the walk. Mm -hmm. And don't think that this is just some, some random scriptures coming out, even though this is all the form. The, the spirit is going somewhere. And where the spirit is going, it, it's showing that, you know, all the scriptures that the brother bringing out the point to one thing is that we're going to have to be heavily armored that's it. for what's about to come down in the pipe. Yeah. 2020 is going to be heavy, and, you know, it, it, hey, I'm going to just leave it at that. 2020 is going to be, it's going to be a monster. And if you ain't heavily armored with the armor of your house by the you might, you know, fall by the wayside. So, you know, hey, take heed of what, what, what the Spirit is saying, you know? Because, uh, yeah, you, you got Jake. They, they want to show off their guns and, and this and that. That's, that's played out, right? Yeah. You know? That shit right. got power among villains. Yeah. But you go against Esau, you're going to find out how much power, uh, <laughs> right. some gunpowder and a projectile. She right. had right. when they come in on the whole new platform. Right. Uh, 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 a higher level on the whole new platform. Right. Mm -hmm. the that the brother's going into. Brother Yagadao, they, they got. Ultrasonic, subsonic, you know, they got frequency yeah. weapons. Right. right. So they just dealing with frequency. They can boil your, boil your internals. Right. They can move your, your body temperature so high, you, your organs literally boil mm. in your body. And they, they did they, this shit. They, that's documented on, uh, is that the Panama? Right, 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 right. So they're going there to yeah, teach these weapons. Right. Yeah. So, and they was melting people. Right, right. You know? So, right. yeah, they talk about back in the, uh, yeah. Panama. Yeah, the 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 Panama. Yeah, the
Well, they went to take take over the film. Probably so. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. That made me maybe think of is the movie The First Purge. I don't know mm-hmm. how many brothers seen it, but when Jake thought they they say, look, the government supplies, they had all these guns for cheap, and so I bought up everything. So they got stocked up with all these assault rifles, grenades, uh, uh, remote detonators, and they thought they was about to go do damage. So they pulled up to the projects. He saw pulled out about four, five drones and killed all the niggas except for one of them. That's just I was thinking about that. Like you need to think if that's gonna protect you. Right. He saw gonna wipe your ass out quick, and you got all them damn guns in your hand. Right. This shit. Uh, but they have guns already that street that can that's on the street that can penetrate the bulletproof ass. Right. He started just saying, you know what? We not even gonna play with them. Just. Shoot a little time to come. You know, I'm to That's another platform. You Yeah. And they gonna release them. Yes. Because a lot of, a lot of when they're going to, and we got to get Revelation 13 with one of you brothers and all that. But uh, when it speaks about it, goes into he calls it all. Mm-hmm. A lot of people gonna get chipped through vaccines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say, oh, you lying. <laughs> They're already doing it. Yeah. People get the chip through vaccination. Mm-hmm. So if he unleashes a biological agent, mm-hmm. people going to run and get these, these shots, and the, the chip is going to be in the shot. Right. 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 And what he going to have? He going to have a, a, a disease that the, the, what is it called? The Center for Disease Control. Right. Disease. 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 They unleashing these uh, biological weapons, then you run to the doctor to get a uh, a vaccine, and that's the you know now you uh you you chipped. He creating a chaotic situation, right? To get you in a panic. Or or or, or right. hey or or you go what you trying to escape from the disease you trying to get vaccinated from to protect you from this disease that they telling you is out there. You go. And get the vaccine, and they put the damn shit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Somebody know I'm on side. All right. Give the Lord. Mm-hmm. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Covering, they take cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, because really that's ultimately why they're doing all of these feats as far as trying to take matters in their own hands, thinking that they're going to be able to, you know, protection of Esau, to fight against Esau, knowing when they outmatch, is because ultimately they don't have a covering of the Ahabite Shemir Shah. They don't have that protection. They don't have that armor, you know, so they have to use the armor of Esau. You know, if you don't have the spirit's arm of Yahweh by Shemi outside, you left ass out to really defend yourself. And that's what two-thirds and all the rest of these other heathen nations are going to see, is that you don't have any protection. Right. All these fake gods that you've been calling on, all these pagan customs and traditions you've been practicing, none of those things will account for this day of trouble that we won't read about in Abel's uh, fifth chapter. Right. right. Hey, you want to know what? You got the uh, doomsday prepper out right. there. Mm-hmm. You got some of them, most of the day eat them, right? They saying they got something for a plan A, B, C, D, E, F, right, 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 G, right, basically right. unlimited plans to overcome the day of doom. Right. You know, which is all. Go ahead. Well, yeah, and, and, and that counsel is these holy words. Mm-hmm. You know, which we've been talking about is, is that whole ultimate protection. You know, internally, spiritually, every area. I mean, what are they talking about in, in, in combat? You're 20 and. Uh, Six, six, right. all the rest of that stuff. You can't watch all of that. No. Right. So, so who's watching? You know, for you. Right. But if you don't have that protection, you don't have that covering, then you're not going to be protected. That's what this word does. Okay? It gives you protection in which you have no idea about. It gives you a uh, 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 foresight. It gives you hindsight. Mm-hmm. You know, it gives you the dynamics in which you're entering into to where you can actually overcome it. It says. They take cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, which is, you know, the reason why they're taking, you know, their measures in their own hand. It says, 
that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the street of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt because that's what they really are doing. They're taking matters in their hands based upon what Egypt says. This will be able to protect you. And it's not. Right. None of those things. Right. Because Esau in itself has already tested. What is the fail, failure point exactly. of those things? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you right. just made it. Right. Like, that, like, yeah. like you got a bulletproof vest, but you know, as brothers are saying, you know, there, there's other measures that actually will destroy and, 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 and uh, what's the word? Make deficient that bulletproof vest. Whereas this spirit of Yahweh by Shemi al that in itself cannot be, uh, uh, what's the word? Infiltrated. Right. It can't be penetrated. Penetrated, right. right. You know what I'm saying? There is no weapon that formed against it right. that's going right. to prosper. That's the whole point, right? You know? Verse 3, it says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Right. You know? You using all of these measures to think that you're trusted in Egypt when in actuality, the spirit of your house by Shemuel is what you needed to protect yourself. And that's what the clouds in the, the purge found out. That's what two thirds gonna find out. Everybody's gonna find out that if you do not have that that covering of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, you're done. Hey, you know what that go into? You gotta be on the correct doctrine. You can't just have any old name because the scriptures clearly tell us who's that other acts was it four and twelve? Twelve, right? Four and twelve or twelve? Four and twelve. Four, four and twelve. We gotta, you gotta have the the one and only uh, the proper name. Well, not only one name, but two names: Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You also, you gotta be on the fully correct doctrine. You gotta understand that Cornelius is not an Edomite; he's Israelite. Right. Right. Okay, the only salvation is only for the nation of Israel. And I'm, I'm saying that because you have the different alphabet groups out here that know the Israelites and. You not you don't have the full long one unless you have the one hundred percent truth. You see the fight against what's coming, right? Because you have some of the groups. I'm not gonna say all of them, but some of those groups out there that are showcasing that they're prepared on a corner level to what's coming in these last days. You know, and that ain't gonna do do nothing for you. What's gonna help you and get you through is this is uh, understanding these scriptures. Right. You have some more? Uh, last verse. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 3. It says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed and the trust in the shadow of Egypt be of confusion. Mm -hmm. Jump over to 52 and 4. Isaiah 52 and 4. Okay, come, come, come. This is Isaiah chapter 52, verse 12. It says, For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the power of Israel will be your re, re reward. Or yeah. reward. Right. Re reward. Right. Re reward. Right. Re reward. Right. Re reward. Re reward. So it's real real like you yeah, said, so I can't watch right. it. Right. So the most I say, I'm going to go before you. Mm -hmm. And then he say, basically, he's going to have your back. Right. And you, you look at that word, uh, R E R E W A R D, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You saying like he gonna he gonna pull up slack. He gonna he got you he got you he, he gonna go before you and he gonna uh, come behind you. Right. So yeah, yeah you gonna be you gonna be beautiful. Right. If you like the brother saying and you can make doctrine, and that's the only way when the scriptures say people tell me, Oh yeah, I know the Lord. No, if you ain't in the doctrine that the most yeah, exactly. I for through the apostles at GMS, you know. You don't know the Lord. You know. You know. He might know sweet Jesus. Right. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the, uh, 
But Islam shit is they pushing that hard again, man. And uh, and, and, and all kind of stuff, man. Yeah. We gotta be deep rooted in the stuff and have faith in this truth, man. Okay? Alright? Mm -hmm. Like the scripture say, let let your uh your understanding be not like children, but be like men, man. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. When I was a child, I you could do that. Yeah. 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 So we, we got to understand with all through the spirit of, of, of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then we gotta we get to, it's a, it's a spiritual fight. Okay? Let's have a quick piece of what you were saying about the perception. This is uh, Ephesians 5 and uh, verse 6. Let no man deceive you with vain words, because, for because of these things cometh the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. No. So when you fall into that, man, wrath is coming, man. You know? And that's coming from who you think is an all-loving God. You know, you a child of disobedience, you're going to get your ass tightened up. Simple as that. You might have grabbed him uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 20 for uh, for Yah. I got the book. Yeah, uh, the word there is Rear, uh, rear word. Yeah. It says towards the rear or rear golf. Mm. So, yeah. You yeah. 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 full protection. Yes. Come oh, right. Mm. I got a quick piece. Somebody else got something? I got right. a quick one. Oh, they got to go over here real quick. Uh, first Corinthians 14 and 20. I'll come. Um, this is First Corinthians 14 and 20, and it reads, Brethren. Be not children in understanding. Be not children in understanding. How be it in malice, be ye children, but in understanding of be men. Amen. So like the brother said, you know, when we were children, we thought it was children. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, coming into this truth, being edified and brought up, with the how about you, how shall I giving us the increase? We're supposed to go from glory to glory, rising up on levels yes, right. becoming men. Right. Right. You know, every brother out on the highway and byways got the heart of a champion. All you brothers, man, because you can't you can't be no punk and, and be in this truth or go out on the highways and byways and deal with what we got to deal with. This is we literally going up against the world. Right. You know. Everybody, you know, in your mama, she might not say it to your face, but in, in her thoughts, she ain't with you. Or right. what you're doing. Right. You know? But, you know, with, with Jake, most of all my mothers are, are you know, are outspoken. Oh, uh, about, oh. you know. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Especially Jake. white folks, the devil, and you. <laughs> good white folks. <laughs> you know, good white folks. 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 Good this takes a soldier, yes. you know, and you got to be soldier minded. That's what Paul had a lot of analogies during the war. Now, like the brother said, put on the whole war, mm -hmm. the weapons of all warfare. He used a lot of war analogies because this is what we are in. We're in a battle. We are locked in this battle. Even if you say, I don't want to deal with this truth no more. Like, we seen examples. Right. Like the brother bringing out, man, you got eight demons. The battle don't stop this coming so fast. Yeah, the youth we get out. That's the book on the yard. We got to see it. Yeah, man. That's the blitz. 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 That's the blit
is not important. You don't need to know the name. They'll get the name in the, in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And they also teaching that a time of Jacob's struggle is not going to come. Yeah. Basically, they, we good, we good knowing we Israelites, and then we just going to be, it's going to be a third world war in the deliverance come. Right. But the scriptures clearly talk about a time of Jacob's struggle. Right. All hell is going to break loose in America and around mm -hmm. the world. You have good angles real quick. Yeah. No, just to back you up. You still you know, yeah, old man. That goes right into Jacob's trouble. Mm. This is Amos chapter 5 and verse 18. It reads, <coughs> Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Right, like them cats. They say, Oh, the day of the Lord is going to be a walk in the court. It's going to be, yeah. you know, this going to happen when the Lord going to come deliver us. That's why I say, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. And the bishop, all we Christians, <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. Said, the, the bishop is telling them this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bishop, Bishop Nathaniel, mm -hmm. he's the one being interviewed before the what is it, the Southern Poverty, what is it called? Mm -hmm. Southern Poverty, right? Southern 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 Southern. Southern. Tell them that basically it's not going to be a time of day of trouble. It's just going to be there was war, <coughs> but poof, like. You know, we are easy to right, 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 right. You said his followers looking forward exactly. to that day. That's that's right. Right. He said, uh, he said, light it up. He said, it's going to light it up. Wow. He used them exact words. He said, light it up. He said, light it up. When he said, light it up, Jake should have stood up and looked. But that's that's showing that going back to what we said, uh, they don't have the whole woman. Right. Because you need to be preparing your mind for what's to come. That's what we're doing right now. We're preparing our spirits, you know, to where we don't have to, we're not going to be in the same mental state as the rest of the uh, Jake in the world. That's right. Come, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Right, to what end is it for you? Because mm -hmm. the scriptures tell us that even the righteous should scarcely be saved. You know, you know even, even brothers, solid brothers in this group, don't be nervous, man. Yeah. Yeah. They don't be no, you know, oh, I'm all good. Yeah. Yeah. No, even the righteous should scarcely be saved. Not even Judah. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh man, oh, you got it out. Oh, for what end is it? For, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. It asked the question, then he gave the answer. Exactly. That also cuts that waggy taggy Christian doctrine. That it's all good, but it says it's a day of darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bad man, all mm. went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? So this is telling you what the day of the Lord is going to be like. So all that, you know, floating into the, you know, into the horizon, you know, riding off into the sunset and all that shit. Like, no, the scripture say. Going to you, first of all, that desire the day of the Lord to what end shall it be unto you, you know? To what end, you know? People that are saying that and they looking for, you know, oh Jesus getting us ready, all that <laughs> shit. They don't know what their end is going to be. Because right, right. if they knew that the Lord is coming for judgment, right. and ain't none of us in no particular, you know, none of us are in that, that slot of certainty. Right. You know, we can say, oh, I know I'm good. Right. Right. That's why the scripture say, to what end is it for you? Right. Right. Hopefully. Yeah. So we're going to be fearing and trembling like we're supposed to be. Yes, right. you got these clowns on me. You know, and I can't wait to, for the Lord. You no, know, you don't want to see the Lord. Right. 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 You don't want to see the Lord every time. That's going to be frightful. You know, the Lord present, man, yeah, every knee shall bow. Yes. Right. saying that for a reason. Yeah. But without him, him even having to say nothing, you gonna you gonna feel that. You gonna you gonna feel that excellency and the power. You just gonna you gonna 
drop in fear. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't kill me. But for a lot of you people that you judge, you're going to get that rap. Right. A lot of you, Jake, you two thirds so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all going to get it, man. Especially if you church going to take it. Right. Because y'all don't know what it's about. Right. Then the Lord is going to be as a man did flee from the body mm -hmm. in the battle, and that's Jacob's trouble. Right. You know, you, you, you escape the, the uh, roundup. You know, they, they might be going door to door like Hurricane Katrina and shit. And, uh, they're just taking Jake captive. You might escape him just to run into or uh, 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 catch a, you know, get hit by a biological agent, right? Right. You right. know, right. come down with some shit to where you, you know, you just fucked up. Right. 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 And your whole shit sees up, you can't even move. You, you know, there's no telling. You start right. foaming at the mouth, like, or turn to a zombie. You know, that's just some shit a zombie fight. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 See, you, you can't, you can't predict this. That's Jacob's struggle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. right. Like, got that nanotechnology in the wall. Yeah. Oh, shit, bro. Like, that's a whole nother level. Yeah, right, right. Like, bro, I think you made it to the woods. You got that fucking nano mosquito drone. Yeah, yeah, they got hurt. Hey, what about the animals? It might be a, it might be an army of squirrels. They get knocked away. That's crazy. Esau was just chipping roaches and spiders. So Damn. Yeah, that's all they right. 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 they yeah. show you that they, yeah. Was, yeah. they got the raccoon in, in the, the, the uh, <laughs> what, what the raccoon? Rocky. 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 Yeah, Rocky. 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 Yeah, yeah. Rocky. 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 How did they get that way? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Saw they fixed the lab. Right. And then you got the most high going to put this, like the scriptures say, the most high going to put the spirit on the animals. Right. So, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a uh, Jumanji out here in the street. Right. Yeah, yeah. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? So unlike the waggy taggy Christians, y'all got Jesus floating in on the goddamn cumulus numbers, shaking everybody's hands, high-fiving and hugging necks and shit. Give him one more chance. We give him one more chance. We're going to ask you before we pull this sword out. You repent? Oh, yeah, Jesus. Shit, I changed my mind. He's on the get, get on the cloud. No, hell no. Come on. I come to set a sword. Right. He's not coming back. When the Lord returns, it's judgment time. Clean your case. And, 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 oh, I'm sorry, Lord. I, I knew. All oh, that's over there. Right. The time for that is right now. Right. Repent now. Right. That's what the, the Lord said that when he was on the scene. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is in hand. What that mean, man? Quit being the nigga you are. Be sorrowful with, for what you're doing. And, and beg your power to right. forgive and not your offense, man. Shit. Right. And what you were speaking on, uh, Sirach, uh, chapter 51 and verse 30, work your work the times, and in his time, he would give you a reward. You know, the times mean beforehand, you know, beforehand, before the destruction, before the, the financial collapse, before World War Three, before all of that, man. You know, you want to come into the truth, and will do the will of the Hawaii you know? child.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found.
What was it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because like that exemption goes into that protection. You're not gonna get exemption without protection. That that is protection, right? That's good. Yeah, that's the point. From from the day of, of, of the Lord, right? Like 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 that's what, that's salvation. That that's what we're actually doing. We're making we're making our body a living sacrifice to where God by Shem Shai can reward us or or, or uh, have our reward that protection as we're going to be changed. Whatever you want to do, uh, I'll get it up. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 then I was there with the five and six of them. Yeah, I just brought it up. Oh, come, come. Uh, yeah, come, come, come. Oh, this is what I said, 55 and 6, yes, sir. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You want to speak on it? it yeah, says, I have to learn right here. Okay, come. It says, call ye upon him while he is near. Going back to those names. Because if you ain't got the names, you can't call him. You have to watch Isaiah 26, which started David, and says, Yea, that the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, have we waited for thee. Mm -hmm. The desire of our soul is to thy name, and to be remembered for thee. Verse 9, With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yea, with my spirit within, within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Mm -hmm. So you have to seek the Lord God early, man, because this it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a time check man. The most high works in the eons, man. He works in the time time, man. Okay? It's a time for mercy, and it's a time for mercy. When the time of death, no mercy. When the time of peace, it's going to be a time of war, man. And it says, when the judges are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Okay? It didn't say he was going to offer it to the, the charts. Right. Right. We will. Right. Judges in the earth. She is. We will learn righteousness. Okay? If the righteousness of the most high consists of things that form and not form mind, we consider good and things that we consider bad. That's all the righteousness of the power. Okay? okay? Salvation, that's righteousness of the most high power. Two thirds of our people get slaughtered, put to death. That's righteousness of the most high power. Okay? So, you gotta stop trying to put the most high power in a box, man. Okay? It's the beast, man. It's, it's, it's many things to come that are not faithful in the chest. Okay? So, you say, hey, we gotta, we gotta go. Hey, that's another thing. Hey, you know, God used to say when these judgments, they were going to be the earth, and people who love righteousness, so the judgments are the law of things that And that's what he was judging. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what he was talking about. Right? He's coming back to judge the righteousness of the law of things that they and, and why is there so much rebellion, wickedness, and evil in the world? Because Esau is not promoting the Most High Judge. That's right. right. He's doing the exact opposite. That's it's like right. I said at uh, Kemp one day, when the law says not to be a faggot, he said, oh, it's okay, right? When you give homosexuals the right to marry. Exactly. You know, and with everything, don't commit adultery. You know, man, don't you, be a you, can't, you can't name how many songs or TV right. shows you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Oh, man, don't have a life to kill somebody who slept with his woman. Yeah, yeah, just shit like that. Yeah. You know, there's no judgment of the most high in the earth right now. So, yeah, hey, when, when, when the Lord comes back, as the brother says, all bets are off. Right. right. You ain't finna get it right.
What was the scripture you just read with Will? Oh, my staff. The last scripture you just read? Isaiah. I just think it's really good. That's a lesson. 26, 89. Because that word will, man, it say will. That's not optional. There's no option with the word will. Will mean it's going to happen. Just like the Lord's will be done. That's not optional. The most high's will is going to get done, man. Like he says, he's working for his name. And he said, this is going to be set. And just real quick about the shots in Psalm 65 and 5, it reads, by terrible things in righteousness, wilt thou answer us, O power of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are far off upon the sea, man. Okay? So by terrible things in righteousness, we be answered through the most high power, man. Okay? Some things will be pleasant, seemingly pleasant. Some things will be terrible, man. Okay? But it's all be done in righteousness, man. Okay? So that's the most high. When the house shot comes back, he comes and said everything, do the work of the Father, said everything back in the first order, like, like, it, like, it, like, it, like it should. Okay? And it's not going to, well, it's not going to be a pretty sight. Okay? It's not going to be a pretty sight. And like the fact that we're going to talk about, I said earlier, we're going to be shaking on our feet when we see some of these things. Okay? Because we ain't going to grow. It ain't going to, we ain't going to be able to breathe beside a leaf until, we be we up on the chairs, man, yeah. looking down at that. And before that moment, man, your heart will be racing, fucking up, and your heart will come. And terrible things and righteousness, man. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. The blood's talking about two thirds being put to death, all the heat is being put to death. That's love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like this, that, 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 even when that cracker came up there, somebody, uh, why y'all hostile? He said hostile. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, they don't know, man. And the scriptures say, uh, he who increases knowledge increases sorrow, right? You know, and we most likely give us the top knowledge of the world, right? Right? And with that knowledge comes the knowledge of most of the people we know don't die. Right, exactly. Right. Right. Vibration had to be pushed, you know. And they ain't the same. We're not strolling down a lot of pop lights. No, so, right, yeah. Why would we That's be smiling true. and then we entering? But we in a time of war, but the war is going to get hotter. You know, I got a quick precept of every idea. Because that goes into the Bible and Yeah, 
Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the, go through the midst of the city, right. in the midst of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. right. and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of that's, yeah. the, that's the reason why men, you know, scarcely smile, you know, for all the abominations that be done in the midst of this society. Because the society is anti-society. Right. You that's know, true. and brother was talking about how, you know, the reason why, you know, Esau goes in the scriptures and reads thou shall not and actually does the complete opposite. Right. You know. So, so that creates abominations. That creates the society which we're living in, but it also creates the reason why we should be sighing and crying. You know, all of these things that Scripture says, you know, are, are double one against another. You know, so so while us seeing wickedness, us being in this captivity, us crying and sighing for all abominations, now we understand what righteousness is to where we can come back to you by Shemamashah in sincerity and truth. You know, to where we know that, like, in order to get through this situation, we're going to need that whole armor. Uh, it's, it, it's not going to be anything that we're going to make it. These abominations that we see are going to take the Yahweh outside in order to destroy them. Right. And, and, and that's what our people are failing to realize, is that the way we galvanize the food Yahweh outside. That is the only way in which we actually have an opportunity to act life. Anything other than that is going to fail. So, so that, what's that? It is failing. It is failing, right. Because it doesn't, it's, it, it hasn't been preordained by Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, nor has it been prophesied for, for us to make it on this side until Yahweh by Shem Yahushai comes back and destroys this place for all the abominations that we've done. Because what, what, what are our people doing right now? Celebrating the new That's year. Man, I, I, I laughed at it when I pulled up because, like, literally, you are setting off temporary fireworks for what? For a better hope. For a better year. That's what they say. This is going to go for the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah when? Right? Yeah, more decades. abominations. Yeah. And, 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 and wickedness and, and it's righteousness. It, it's just more lies. Like, that's what Esau will do. It, he will have you lie to yourself, you know, to where you completely corrupted yourself in believing that this year is going to be different. Yeah. For the past 20 years, you've been a loser. Right. You're still a loser. <laughs> you you don't make it different. Right. <laughs> You're doing what the same thing. What the society's built for you to lose. Right. right. Exactly. Right. That, that's the thing. That's, they don't get it. The reason you're looking for a better, every single fucking year, you're looking for a better year because you're in hell. Right, there you yeah, go. Exactly. You're in hell, so every year you're hoping, okay, <laughs> this shit gotta get better. Right, right. It's yeah. not gonna get better until the kingdom of heaven is established. But right. that also shows you insane and out of your goddamn <laughs> Right. Because right. year after year after year the after same year, thing. you do the yes, same the thing. shit. Over and over, and that's the definition of what insane right. insanity, right? You goddamn people are insane, man, right? And like, they're changing at the time. That's it. Well, they, they could have eaten black eyed peas. Where's the first one? And uh, what's that? The uh, chitlin? no, the uh, chitlin. Chitlin. <laughs> yeah, but this one, the uh, green, not that, the green, uh, black eyed peas, cabbage, the cabbage. Oh, they've been eating that for 30, 40, 50 years. The cabbage bowl represents the money, the green, the black eyed peas for milk. That's true. <laughs> that's what they that's what true. That's superstition. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. They've been doing that for 50, 60 years. Like, yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah. I really tell you that. I tell them you say what they get is. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's so you know. Yeah. 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 They call the cabins when they got three. Yeah. 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 Huh. That's good luck. For That's in a low state because he saw that bacon on Lord. cabbage and then black eyed <laughs> peas. <laughs> 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 no, no. Hey, 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 That's the reason why yeah. they're sighing and crying. Right. right. Because we see our people being destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right, right. And that knowledge being these holy scriptures. Right. Right. Now, 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 
we're partial to them to a degree because we understand that they have to be judged in order to believe. That's the only way that two-thirds are going to believe is by being judged and coming back to our loans. Right. You know? Right. Uh, other than that, we are the only... You had said earlier, we have the ultimate knowledge yeah. of all things, the unction of all things Yahweh Shemel Shai has given us for a possession and an inheritance. Right. That is going to make you sigh and cry when you're around low-level, wicked people all the time. Yes. Right, right. So that's why we that's why we sigh and cry. That's why we are seeking this whole armor of Yahweh Shemel Shai to make it through this hour of temptation because we know that two-thirds ain't gonna make it. They can't make it. We we are the uh, uh there's a scripture I want to say in Obadiah that talks about that we are the saviors of our people. Roughly paraphrasing. That we are the only ones that actually have an opportunity at making it and and and, and becoming victorious and overcoming. You know? The scripture talked about how uh, what does the scripture say? How uh two will be in the field. And, and, and one will be taken. Right, right, right. Like, like, like uh, every, every, every one of you all, brothers, are that one. I, mean, you know, you get a reference in the nature. Yeah, if we have the, if we, 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 Okay, this is uh, Ezekiel 11 and 16. It says, Therefore say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, although I have cast them far among the heathen, mm -hmm. and although I have scattered them among the countries, it says, Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Right Just going into the, um, the brother saying, uh, The Lord taking us up, one of a family, being that little sanctuary. And amongst this land, amongst all these wicked people, it's only uh, a little sect of people the Lord is gathering together. So, right. yeah, that's beautiful. I, I've always looked at it as like, you know, Esau every year is supposed to shit, talking about the draft, you know, number one lottery pig, number three lottery pig, and all the rest of that stuff. Hey, this right here is a, that small sanctuary. Lord willing, you know, we, hey, we know that we've been called, but Lord willing, we've, we've been chosen. Right. You know, the odds in, in themselves are just ridiculous. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, not shit. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I mean, that, 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 that should give you encouragement, but, but bring out what you got, brother. Oh, for sure. Come on, just real quick, the odds you talk about, look who's in this room versus the whole goddamn city of Houston. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good odds in any damn thing if you a betting man. Nobody would take them odds, man. Yeah. yeah. Man, I'm going to say this. No, not to the brother, but I'm going to cry. We cry to the Lord, you know what I'm saying, in our prayers. And we also physically proud of it. You know, we coming from the world, you know what I'm saying? It's a she, you know, it's not a man between the crowd. But that's 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 applying to the world. And you know, the brother here again said these abominations and these things that we see and hear and have to endure, they'll make you cry. Not even for selfish, I'm talking about we see the brother suffering, man. Okay? okay? And the brother fall and stumble, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's not the end. But like what we said out here, what? Yeah. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. Uh -huh. it, it, it hurts, man. And, 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 and we share the chair, man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really think like, you know, that that's not an uncommon thing for for the the whole thing yet, man. Okay? These things happen, man. Okay? And yet these, this is a good this is a good, good, good place in America, man. Yeah. Okay? These things are just they're just tasteful, man. From, okay, so we we, we share we do share the chill, man. So I'm, I'm just saying that, man, you know, not trying to make brother soft and then like that, but man, when you, when you, when you, when you sit alone, man, like you at the house and you pray and meditate, man, and you feel that feeling, man, y'all need to get it out, man. This is a fucked up place, man. Okay, we have to do two man shit. That's man up and let's get it, man. Okay? But these things all want to happen. Okay, I just wanted to say that because they, you like, you know, I was speaking to myself first. When I first came to the two, you know what I'm saying? I was man in the world. I ain't cry about shit. I ain't gonna fuck about it. You know, I ain't trying to find something. The hardest part is kept. Right, but I ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? When I came to the truth, I still had that, had to get, had to get that, that, that old man washed away, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I feel like, I feel fucked up. I feel like crying. I'm gonna do that fuck thing. I was always wrong. You know what I'm 
So you are more proud. That's right. Yeah, now. That's right. Now. Now. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Say that's what I'm saying. Now I'm saying that's another form of uh, crying is when we go out on the highway and byways and teach. Right. Like I referred to earlier in Matthew, the 25th chapter, you read about it. Oh, uh, you read it. It says there was a cry made at midnight. Mm -hmm. So we crying. That's a form of us crying. Right. To uh, show that we believe to to, to uh, really be begging the most high to bring the kingdom home. Right. And then the cry at midnight. Right. 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 Like I said, the white boy come up there, why y'all ain't never smiling? Why y'all ain't, hey man, we out here doing this work. Sometimes we do smile, but right now it ain't a whole hell of a lot to smile about. Right. So when we cry aloud, we're not worrying about your feelings, how you feel about what we said. Because if you got a problem with what we said, you got a problem with what the Most High said. Because this is His word. Just like it said in Psalms, I think it was 139, do not I hate them that hate thee? Because that shows you got a hatred for the most high if you can't be susceptible and receptive to this word, man. It ain't us that you got the problem with. Ultimately, it goes back to the most high. So we're not worrying about your feelings. And just like you said, we cry physically, we cry loud, and like the brother said, we're going to cry out tonight at midnight. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to add to the most high of our spirits, man. You go on the highway today, you prophesy and cry, and you cry physically. And sometimes, shit, you just might be sitting in the crib, just like fucked up, like your spirit, like you just, you know, like, damn, I'm going to battle on the most high. I know your right. spirit crying out, so your spirit ain't got to scream, you know. But shit, you physically cry, you prophesy and cry, cry, and shit, our spirits cry out to the most. Like it said, with a lot. It says that righteous man, seeing and hearing those things, vexed his soul, vexed his spirit. His spirit was crying. The most I heard that. This is uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. It says, And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the poor things will pass away. And, you know, that this place does bring me sorrow, man anguish of heart and vexation of spirit, you know, so, so there's going to be moments where, you know, all of these abominations in which we see every day, like, they start to compound each other, you know, and, and that's why, I really, you know, through the spirit, I really encourage brothers to, you know, have a balanced diet, you know, of your intake, because that in itself, man, I mean, like, you know, you just, you just, of course, yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, you bring it on yourself to a degree, but ultimately, it, it vexes our spirit because we, we are preaching life. And this whole, you know, society in which we're living in is death. Everything, you know, Scripture talks about it and have a poop the second chapter. You know? So so we understand that, like, there's going to be vexations. There's going to be sighing and crying. But Yahweh by Shemi is going to wipe away all of those tears. You know? the sign and the crying and, and provide, you know, for us, you know, righteousness, you know, to where none of those things are no longer present, you know. Um, you had done, uh, oh, did you bring that out in uh, Obadiah real quick? That uh, Obadiah 22? Uh, Obadiah reads. Because, like, when you return unto your house by Shema Hushai, that in itself brings you life, but it, it also, you know, you know, increases in knowledge, increases in sorrow. Because you understand, like, this whole place is jacked up. Right. Like, like there, I mean, aside from this little sanctuary, everything else is an abomination. Everything else is going to bring you vexation. <clears throat> you know? You got it. Hey, I'm going to start at 18 just to get up. For example, for camera, 
I'm pointing at the end. Yeah. So now we're going to need 10 ingredients. And the house of Jacob should be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any reckoning remaining. So not be beginning the remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken. Right, that, that's going to show you that the Edomites are still in existence. Right. That's right. That's right. Over there, 119, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain, the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall, shall possess Gilead, and the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto uh, Zerifah, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Shepharad, uh, shall possess the cities of the south, and Samus shall come up on the Mount Zion, right, to judge the Mount of Esau. See, so, so once again, like, through the Spirit, what I was saying earlier is, Lord willing, we are those saviors, saviors of our people. That's the reason why Lord willing, we were selected, you know, because we actually, we understand the vibration of truth. We understand the vibration of life. And we, and, and what is it, conversely, we also understand the vibration of death. So we see all of these things happening to where it's leading our people into death. Esau is dead, you know. So all of these things are portraying uh, really a converse spirit of the Alvarez and Alshon, and that affects us, you know. But, but we actually have the opportunity to be saviors for our people, generations to come, you know. But it starts with obedience. It starts with understanding what this word is really about. And that it's it's not a, a carnal affair. It's definitely a spiritual warfare, and the only way we're gonna win is spiritual. We got three more. Yeah, I'm gonna ask again. I'm gonna ask for the other one. Down one twenty one. And Saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the house. There it is. Break it down, brother. I, I, I got something to finish now. Now I just that just. Man, that that that's something like that. Right. Man, it's the saviors, man. Right, Lord willing, right, right, right. right. the saviors, man. Right, yeah. Right. I mean, because nobody else is. I mean, uh, what did you say? <laughs> you can't be no punk out here on the highways and byways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, 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 oh, go ahead. I was just saying we the champions of our people. Right. Like, yeah. like David. He right. Was like, he, was, he was a champion. Right. Of, of right. the people. Absolutely. Like, like uh, I'm glad you had spoke. Not like Esau doing the sending troops to war. David led, led Israel to war. Right, right. And the front, 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 front line, line. They said, you know, how, how David, David went, went before them. Yeah, went before, before them and then brought them back. They went out to war, leading the war, mm -hmm. leading them out to war, and then leading them back in from war. Mm -hmm. he, was, you know, he was a savior. He was, he was Israel's champion. Right now, you know, everybody's is falling on each and every last brother in this group. You know, we are precipitations, if you will, of the how we shot through this word. So, in other words, you know, like this word is living waters. Mm -hmm. So, when you take this word on, you become the living waters. So, you, you become a Messiah, you become a Savior. Right. But in the how we shot, right? I got no scripture. We, like they say uh, in the book of Acts, they were first called Christians mm -hmm. in Antioch, mm -hmm. you know. Right, they was called Masiachi. Right. right, right. So, so uh, right, because they followed the Howard Shot and now that term is thrown around so loosely that right. we don't even, you know, it's almost, it, it's almost a vulnerable to say you're a Christian, but we are the true Christians are the same exactly. anointed. Exactly. We are the Masiachi. Right. So, it's been a misapplication. It's been a misapplication on the on, on <laughs> use of that word. It, it, it's true. It's true. Faulty understanding. Yes. But we're right. We we are saved. We we are we are, we have been anointed to be saved by you know, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. What's, what's that last part where it talked about judging? Right. right, it says, and Saviors, now we're going to go down 1 and 21, and Saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. Right, so once again, 
that whole stands that that brother just read proved that the Edomites are still in existence. Because they haven't been judged. Right. Exactly. That's what we're talking about right now. That's we are preparing for judgment. Right. And everything that's necessary to make it through judgment is going to involve the spirit of Yahweh by the Shemiah However, in that verse, it says that we are going to be what? Read that from uh, verse 20, that last verse 22, I think. It says, and saviors shall come up on Mount Zion. That hasn't happened. Go ahead. To judge the power of Esau. That hasn't happened. And the kingdom shall be the house. Once again, if all of those things had happened, we wouldn't be prophesying about it happening. Right. <clears throat> so that goes to show you that it hasn't happened and that, Lord willing, we are those saviors that are going to be judging the Mount of Esau to where the kingdom of Yahweh Shemel shall be established. Because that in itself has to be fulfilled, right? Right, right. Saviors have to come up through the spirit. Lord willing, we are those men, you know, coming up through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel, which the elder just went into. Uh, precipitation? Is that what you said, brother? You, 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 you hit me with like a, a, a sound of like, that's a T word or something, bro. But, I mean, he said precipitation. You know? Yeah, through the spirit. So, so we are microcosms of Yahweh Shai, right? That, 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 that rivers of living water. To do what? To actually be able to judge. So that hasn't happened. So, yeah, you got to back up again. I was shy to judge. You coming back to judge, but once you get that stamp of approval, you're going to become a judge too. You're going to carry out judgment mm -hmm. right on Esau, Ham, Ishmael, you know, but Esau first and foremost. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The, <laughs> Everything that, you know, I feel like the, the lock that fell on you, how it shot is is going to fall on you today. Right. Like, you know, from, from being anointed, from being a savior, to ultimately judge. Right. right. And lead over the, all, all the nations. Yeah. Right. 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 But you further got to go through every time you have a shot. Right. You got to carry that right. cross. Right. You got to be humiliated. Right. And uh, some of us are going to be mortal. Right. Yeah. So, but that, that goes with the territory of being joint heir. Right. You join heir is right. You know. Yeah, you have to do exactly what the house is talking about. That. Oh. You got to say that. The possibility is I had. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was nobody else saying that? Romans eight and Romans eight and seventeen said. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Howell, and joint heirs with the Howell. Okay, okay, okay. okay. To the 16th verse, Romans 8 and 16, it says, The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Howell by Shem Yahushai. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh. And joint heirs with Mashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we might be also glorified together. Going into what you said, it's not all, the way you go, the ones that suffer the elect, they're the joint heirs, the way they're going to be joint heirs is ultimately through election and also to go through the, uh, the suffering. Just like the scriptures say, uh, the servant. If not greater than his, than his master, you know. Right. We, we are apprentices of the Amishan in order to get to the point of mastery. So each level that we go through, through the spirit, we're gaining more knowledge of what ultimately he set the example for, including something you guys. That was it, right there. I got. I got a quick precept. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse, uh, just to land back off what the brother was saying. Uh, I'm going to start at 10. It said, Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. <laughs> so, as I said earlier, 
we're doing this for our individual self, but at the same time, too, if we don't make it, we're doing it for the next brother to actually make it. So we're enduring all things for the elect's sake. You know, so it's a selfish mission. It's one that involves, yeah, if you make it, hey, brother, you all bless you, man, shout out right side. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, we are all preparing each other to make it. You know? That's what makes this, this a functioning body. Verse 11. It is a faithful saying, for if we believe, so like it, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Verse 12. If we suffer with him, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If he, if we deny him, he, he also will deny us. So the point was, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. So that servant not being greater than the master goes to show you that that suffering in which Yahusha went through was just an example for us to prepare ourselves. Likewise, going through Jacob's trouble. Likewise, going through the, the day of the Lord. All of these things are to show that that suffering is going to take place. But we are prepared for it. No one else knows that they're going to have to go through suffering. That's an advantage for us. And not only that, we have the, the, the scriptures which prepare us and show us the way in which I wish I uh, actually made it through, you know, which, which was through uh, um, righteousness, which ultimately is, is spiritually having that whole army. Yeah, I just want to speak. The, the brother just uh, just informed me that the apostle had dubbed this year, they officially entered into <coughs> the year of prophecy, 2020. Mm -hmm. You know, for us, we got another 20 so minutes. Right. But over there, it's already, you know, midnight, but right. 2020 is going to be the year of prophecy, and it's there's only a few left to be, you know, to, to right. be played out. So we're looking for, you know, the major ones that we're looking for, World War III, the Mark of Peace. And one we personally that I'm looking for is the, the grinding the seats, but I'm sick of this guy. Yeah. Con. Yeah. I'm working yeah. with this guy doing double. There's another brother speaking about vexation of spirit. Hey, it's, it's hard. You know, you got all this knowledge. Yeah, most I've given you a leadership mentality, then you got to go be a fucking slave. Uh, yeah. But not only that, but for some base low life. Yeah, man. Right. Somebody you even know you did it. Yeah, right. right. People that straight up idiots that have no business ruling over you that are over you. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, that's why we ain't smiling. It's right. It's a vexation that yeah. you understated, but yeah. uh, one of the reasons why we're not smiling, but right. We officially going into the year of prophecy 2020, right? So, hey, how about you now? Shot that all things be fulfilled in 2020, right? Shot, shot. And, 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 and it is spiritual because what we had just read in Obadiah was about right, prophecy, prophecy that hasn't been fulfilled. So, that thing. Exactly. Don't you, don't you, as a brother, has got a dog, got your dog tied up in the yard, you go back and see the roof, you're like, God damn. This Don't jump over the broom. 
Right. Until you know what you're doing and you know what's going what's what all come with this, man. Yeah, that's true. Because all hell come with this too. Right, it's yeah. a good point. Yeah, it ain't all. Oh, he is right. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, all that. Yeah, all that. Yeah, all that. JK don't even want to think Judy and ain't minding it. Right. Day. You right. see if the daughter's a singer or no, you won't write. Right, right. 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 See, don't see it It's on Fox right now. Right. Right. Oh, they associate you stuck in these journals with some of the black Hebrew Israelites. Not JK second. This is, this is happening for real, it's happening. Yeah, the things, it's not just finding out you a Jake, man. This demonizing is going to, the rats is going to jump ship, man. As, right. as the saying goes, the rats take off the day when the shit gets bad on the ship, you know that the rats is jumping off, man. Okay? And things is going to get real bad. This is your prophecy. Right. What yeah. prophecy? We just talked about them. David's true, the chip, yeah. all that, all that stuff. You still gotta keep Revelation 13. So, when they keep turning up, man, they gonna cast that stuff. I'm gonna shut up now. They gon' take me the most. Jewel, they, that's the last thing gonna come out of their mouth. Man. Okay? Uh-huh. All right? And if you, if you don't if you think that's true, man, you better go back and read the scriptures. Maybe it's not already happening. Okay? Exactly. Right, bro. You know what I'm saying?
decline, you know, was, that, that's what was going on. And like, the Caesars and there, they was freaking off and, and just doing abominable shit. It was the same thing, like, you know, you got some Jeffrey Epstein's and all this shit, pedophile island, uh, uh, pizza day, right, and all that shit. That went on in ancient Rome, so this is that likeness. Right. This is the image that them creating the likeness of the, the image. Uh, read that again, folks. Verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. Because the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, so he had power to give life to this to this image. Right. Go ahead, brother. Verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. The RFID microchip, that is the mark of the beast. So don't let them give you that under any circumstances, not in the vaccine. Um, go and volunteer to get it because, you know, they tell you, you you can't get access to your money in the bank. You, know, you, you got to put it on this chip. You got to, you know, the dollar is no more good, but what we can do, we can transfer your funds into this chip and we can put it there. Don't let them give you that bullshit, right? Um, you know, and it's going to get hard, like what I'm talking about, but you're going to have to totally disassociate yourself from society, you know. At the cost, you might be put in a concentration camp, but don't let them put their children right the right. scripture say you read Matthew 10 and 28, the Lord said, fear not him who was able only to kill the, or destroy the body, but so fear him who was able to destroy both body and soul in hell. In hell. That's what you think, you know. The Lord will go down to and let them tell him when you go to hell, you did. Right. right. So how do, why the Lord saying he's going to destroy both body and soul yeah. in hell? It's talking about because we, in, we live in hell. Right. right. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. And I thought your soul burned here, not your body. Huh. So it don't make sense to by, by you know, secular doctrine. But right. Do not take that chip. You, you, you hold it something up? I'll be with the soul for it. I'm say this real quick. It ain't going to be like uh, in the kingdom of the sun. They're going to be high. It's going to be a second niggas in there. No, man. It's going to be a Yo, yo, people, who you love, if you got trust in them, if you foolish enough to still have trust in them, they they don't deliver you up. Right, okay? right. This is what I'm going to do is you be left against the world, man. The wrong way you know, you're left against the world. Okay? Yeah, I was going to say in that, uh, like the Apostle Thorne brought out uh, before, if you go into the word mark, it's karagma, uh, which means something that's stamped or inserted them under the skin. But then when you go into the root of the word, it's karat. Right. Which yeah. goes into the syringe. Right. In which they're going to, uh, which that's that's what they use to insert the chip under the skin. Mm -hmm. So it's showing without a, without a doubt. There's no argument about it. It's, right. it's, you can't argue what the mark of the beast is when you go into the word mark. It's the, mm -hmm. it's the star of the microchip. And they don't just take the microchip with, you, with their hand and just force it under your skin. They use a, a syringe. Right. Or a syringe is used to get that chip um, in the right, or in the hand right. for that matter, or in the brain. And they ain't gonna take it on them. Right, right. Hey, bro, I was gonna do it real quick. My brother probably gonna laugh, bro. It was good as I was trying to get a job. I was in the truth. I had to, uh, had to uh, take a blood something. Man. So we gonna go to the city. So the syringe and the, and the shit, you know, you know, you put the little cock ball in there. So I hold that. I took the cock ball. I was looking for it. Man, like a little knock like that, bro. I got scared, bro. I said, they got something. They hit me with the damn. I really thought that shit, bro. And I'm, bro, I'm sitting with that pinching on it and shit. It wasn't, it was just the inflammation of the skin from the, you know, the shit. Bro, I sat there for a minute. I was like, man, I was about to just break it from the pinch. Dirty motherfuckers, bro. Uh -huh. you know? But that's how it's going. That's how it's going. That's right. how it's going to come, man. Like the brother was saying, there's going to be a lot of uh, 
what they call this shit, and you think the vaccine, bro, they're gonna be hitting you up, man. They're gonna be like, you know what I'm fucking know, man. Because you trust in the goddamn devil instead of trusting in your house by shutting down the shop, man. You in front of me, bro? No, I guess I love it. Okay, okay. Uh, you had something else? You got some more. Oh, right. Not unless you just want verse 17 where it says that no man mm-hmm. might come. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Look, yeah, so that, that, or if I get microchip, the mark of the beast is going to contain all your financial records, your exactly. number right. records, mm-hmm. all your personal identification uh, right, information. You oh, own it. Yeah. You own it. Right. right. You, you own it. You own it. And they all, and, they, and, 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 and if you think that's a hard thing to do, bro, well, they already got it right now. Yeah, and it's going to be a loss to uh, your uh, debit and credit. Right, right, bro. They got all this shit, bro. Look, the top of like we started off with the uh, quantum uh, computers, man. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't mm-hmm. working with stuff. Quantum physics ain't like what we learned in school, man. This shit is like. They got all the stuff that we, this is old technology. Right. All this stuff, this, they been had this stuff, man. Right. He saw us on a whole nother level. You know? They, they, um, actually I heard this on the video that uh, McDonald's had to get a, they were just doing a test where they, they had an AI in, in, uh, at the uh, drive-thru. And it, it tells you what you want. So you, it, it, it predicts what, what the people want to eat. Exactly. So by the time they get to the women, they already went and said that it's been, it been accurate. Yeah. That's how scary this shit is. What are they doing on facial recognition on the camera or something? They just I think it's with facial recognition. But somehow, I don't know how it's doing. Yeah. So artificial yeah. intelligence. Yeah. They yeah. would yeah. process yeah. information yeah. like a, the mind of a, of, a, of a human, man. This is scary. And that, that chip is going to. Link you in to the internet of things. Is that, yeah, is that your approach? Yeah, you just, yeah. And that's how they, like I said, when quantum computers, that's how they work. Like, a known computer, you in cyberspace, but the quantum computer, it actually brings cyberspace into the real world. So, it'll tie you in to, to everything, the smartphone, the, the smart, uh, the, 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 uh, thermostats, right, no, terms, tablets, all this shit, you know, refrigerator, all this shit. They got, they got, they got smart refrigerators and smart yeah. washers uh, and dryers. Right, right, right. Washers and dryers, yeah. yeah. Right. And what is that? Yeah. Oh, my, these, these, uh, just real quick, these, uh, driving the cars. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, so what you think will happen in the day with your smart houses and your driving the cars with these all things? Shit, you'll be locked the fuck inside the fucking house until they come to get you. They'll drive the car and drive you straight to the goddamn house. Shit, don't get this game. Don't get this game. I don't know about it. I don't know about it. Tesla. Tesla. Right. Look at the Google's car on fire. Tesla. He's looking at the car. Look at that. He broke up. He in the escape button. Oh, the hook's got it. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I just got a quick crowd. This is 2 Matthew Beast, first chapter. The Hebrews. This is Psalm verse 24. It says, The crowd was not with his mouth. Oh, the Howard, the Howard Power, creator of all things, who are fearful and strong and righteous and merciful, and the only and gracious king, the only giver of all things, the only just. Almighty and everlasting, thou that deliverest Israel from all trouble, and didst choose the fathers and sanctify them, receive the sacrifice for thy whole people Israel, and preserve thy own portion and sanctify them. Gather those together that are scattered from us, deliver them that serve among the heathen, look upon them that are despised and abhorred, and let the heathen know that thou art our power. Punish them that oppress us. And with pride, do us wrong. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, well, hey, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up and go uh, put these curses on Babylon for this new year. Uh-huh. Pray that the Lord delivers man. Right. Uh, you know, deliver.
delivered us from the oppression of our enemies. First and foremost, Esau. Uh, we pray for the spirit that you brought to edify, you know, and we're going we're gonna to give all praise, honor, and glory unto you. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakaq, by Hashem, Rakaq, Shalom. Shalom.